having a lot of fun out there getting to um, you see you might you might not think it's it's fun for him you might think it's ridiculous I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about Twitter just like Instagram I have very very singular a very singular presence on those platforms that really isn't like anything else at least on not until uh, the uh, AI starts uh, copying me which isn't gonna be long you know what I mean um, I, I really have a singular voice on there and I know that when there's low interaction on something that makes me laugh and cry laughing I know that it has something to do with the uh, the spiritual health of those that kind of brush it aside this shit makes me laugh so hard I think it's the funniest stuff on the internet but that's maybe I'm just crazy maybe I'm a moron but um, you know not many people can really understand it which is shocking to me but I guess most people aren't really initiated into into mirth but people there are very few people that really understand the, the value of uh, my voice on social media there are very very few people really understand the gravity of my voice on there and I guess that's just the way it is I mean I'm not gonna cry about it I don't really worry too much about that the sort of thing you know me if I if I had achieved any sort of rel relative super celebrity I would either have freaking blasted myself or some someone else would have killed me to get some fucking movie deals or something like that, you know what I mean? So, I like to think about things sometimes, sometimes when I'm, I guess when I'm weak, I guess sometimes when I'm weak, I start to think, I'm like, how do I ha how do I get more people to like the things that I do? And I'm like, then, then when I come to my senses, I'm like, dude, nah. And if a handful of people have to enjoy it and everyone else has to say, oh, this guy's crazy, or, oh man, I, I don't know, he must be messed up because of whatever, you know? Who knows? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but, it just comes down to the fact that you can't refine, you can't uh, have a, a, too much of a filter. You can't have too much of a filter because then you become worthless. And I understand the, the, the value of putting the ultimate filter on, which some may have really caught a sparkle of with the Helen Keller joke. Um, people don't really get it, but some might see the sparkle of the ultimate final frontier of comedy and the ultimate filter where you can't say anything at all. But those who know understand your joke. That's why it's all about initiation. Now do you understand the power of initiation? Now do you understand the conveyance of otherwise disregarded either wisdom or comedy? Now do you understand what an initiation is? You should be able to. I'm just saying, when you, it's just like the, it's just like the Christians, well, in alleged history, the Christians in the, the Colosseum or some bullshit and Nero or Caligula or whatever, heroes of their age, they had to not say they were Christian or something. They had to put draw fishes or a Dagon cap or something like that. I don't know. Mayroon's Dagon. Post Christ Christians, yeah. But uh, anyway, I was, I was rambling about um, refining and maybe the good points of refining because when you when you have the character limit, I mean, I know it's a joke and I know it's ridiculous. I understand, but still though. I can put it together in a small format, and I do, <laughs> at least I think I do a fun job at it. Um, anyway, it's it's sort of good practice in a way, but it's also time that you're not putting something else. The <laughs> Stephen Hawking's jokes are the final frontier for initiation of the truth of reality, Shadow. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, you, you sort of understand the, the way the world works. How else can I say, how, what else can I say, you know? But a lot of it seemed to resonate with a lot of people. I don't know why. I well, I do. It just it was very very dense. It was it was very dense with uh, not relatable but easily enjoyed beats that filled the paragraph. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I guess it see the things the things that are conveyed go without being said. You know what I'm saying? They go without being said. And if you don't understand what's being said, then it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> You're fucked. It looks like you're fucked.